YouTube, YouTube, what it do to Down Home News TV, I am Dre. And we got a verdict in from the uh, trial of Tyrese, Tyree Nichols, sorry. Coming from NBC News, verdicts reached in a trial of former Memphis officers charging a <clears throat> fatal beating of Tyree Nichols. The jury reached a verdict Thursday in a federal trial of three former Memphis police officers charged in the deadly beating of Tyree Nichols, according to NBC News affiliate WMC. Demetrius Haley, Justin Smith, and Tadarius Bean are accused of depriving Nichols of his rights through excessive force, obstructing justice, through witness tampering, and other crimes. They pled not guilty to the charges. Haley was found guilty of one count of conspiracy to witness tamper and one count of obstruction of justice. Bean and Smith were found guilty on only one count, obstruction of justice regarding witness tampering. None of the, none of the men were found guilty of the counts of deprivation of rights under color of the law for excessive force and failure to intervene or deliberate indifference. But Haley was convicted of two, two lesser counts involving bodily injure, injury. <clears throat> Two other former officers, Emmett Martin III and Desmond Mills Jr. pleaded guilty to the same charges. Nichols' mothers, Nichols' mother, Rovon Wells, told reporters that she, she excited, oh, I can't read today told reporters as she exited the courthouse that she was sh in shock but happy that all the men were convicted of at least one charge. All of them have been convicted of something and they're all going to jail. That's how I feel, well said. This has just been a long journey for the family. Prosecutors accused the former officers of officially beating Nichols 29 after the traffic stop on January 7th. 2023, even though body camera video of the assault showed Nichols posed no threat to the officers. They stood by his dying body and laughed. One of the prosecutors, Assistant U.S. Attorney Elizabeth Rogers, told the jury during opening statements, then they silently agreed to lie about it to cover it up. <clears throat> the defense lawyer for Bean said the officers had been trying only to subdue a, sub, a suspect who failed to follow officers' instructions. Nichols was pulled over for reckless driving, but Memphis police chief said there is no evidence to support the allegation. Mills testified against his former colleagues during the four-week trial and acknowledged striking Nichols with his baton three times, baton. A former officer wept as prosecutor, prosecutors showed the body cam of the other officers punching and kicking Nichols. I made his child fatherless, Mill said of Nichols. I'm sorry. Nichols, who had a young son, died in the hospital three days after the beating. An autopsy reported, reportedly says, cause of death as blows to the head. Five officers who are members of the crime suppression team called Scorpion Unit were fired after Nichols' death for violating police department policies. Their unit was disbanded. Federal prosecutor <clears throat> Catherine Gilbert asked the jury Wednesday to find the defendants guilty on all counts. She argued that the heart of the case, the officers acted together and willfully aided and abetted in the assault that killed Nichols. Five officers beat Tyree Nichols, five officers left him to die, and five officers covered it up, she said. Bean's lawyer, John Keith Perry, said there was reasonable doubt for each of the crimes his client was charged with. Haley's attorney, Stephen Leffler, disputed the prosecution's claim that Nichols never posed a threat to the officers and said it was Martin, Bean, and Smith's blows that killed Nichols. Not Haley's. <clears throat> now, 
The officers also faced charges of second degree murder in the state court. They pled a not guilty, though Mills and Martin are expected to change their pleas to guilty. This article was originally published on NBCNews.com. Oh, man. More things change, more things stay the same, man. I said, I'm not going to get into the allegations of what was floating around on the web about the reason why they allegedly target Mr. Nichols, but may the brother rest in peace, man. It's horrible. It's horrible, but at least his mother was able to get some type of justice. And they didn't state about, you know, Ben Crump getting in the situation. It's, there's going to be some money involved. They didn't state how much family was entitled to for his death. But uh, either way, it sucks because the taxpayers are going to have to pay for it. And speaking of Brian Donald's, well, is that his name? Brian Donald's? I don't know, but I'm going to do a video on him. He was on a breakfast club. I can't believe I missed it, but he was talking about um more cops would walk away if granted immunity, police immunity or something like that. And the breakfast club correspondents were saying, well, that's what Trump wanted for the police officers, and why would that be a bad thing? And he went on to describe how if they remove immunity from police officers, that means that they can go after the police officers involved in whatever case and seize their assets instead of basically the uh, city, county, or whatever to pay for the uh, damages. But I don't know how I got on that tangent, but I guess it made me think about the situation here with Tyree Nichols. And since they were not acting under, under their policy guidelines, would that be a good situation for police? Well, I'm pretty sure it is since they're fired and they're going to jail, but for them to seize their assets and see, see them personally, Pretty sure they might not get as much as suing the uh, police department and taking it from citizens, but I don't know. Sorry for the tangent, but let me know what y'all think about this situation. It's a horrible situation. Anytime people just do things just because they feel like they have the right and the authority to, especially after hearing them speak about covering it up. I don't know, man. I really do not know. Some people.